I love surprises. So this is definitely an adventure. <laughs> of course, everything's surprising. <laughs> I've been to some other operas before, and I said, why not try the Detroit Opera House? The strangeness, yet yeah, the like the perfection and the serendipity that weirdly happens. I'm really, really into it. You really thought, oh, this must have been planned, but wasn't. Like it was almost unbelievable, and maybe we're just trained to want to see that connection i want to find that connection but it's it was random this is actually my first opera experience so it was very interesting to see you know everything going all at once paying attention to everyone's point of view we can actually take that to our own lives regardless of what the intention behind uh, the delivery of the aria was it was the proximity that really told the story for me um, be that to the pianos be that to one another it was really really interesting to to see what the relationships were with these two arias that weren't from the same piece but now lived in the same world i think it was perfectly put together, um, as randomized as it is. I didn't know what to expect, and uh, all expectations exceeded, and uh, it was wild. Honestly, it was an amazing experience, and I would absolutely invite everyone else to come out and see this, because this is like nothing I've ever seen before. The singing was absolutely amazing. Funny, it's delightful. It still has its, has its ups and lows. In a way, it does have this arc to it, and then, of course, it ends with someone who's dead on the stage. I just like the state of mind that it puts you in, loosed from expectation and are just able to absorb um, the sound and not be trapped by narrative and trapped by uh, tradition and just kind of, you just own it and Cage gives it to you. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know what I saw, but I liked it. <laughs> Watching the way that operas that I had heard before played into contemporary movement and then the way that these additional bodies informed the dancers and how everything together created a, a different experience than I've seen before. The serendipity is like when you find something, you know, it's beautiful. I'm still trying to process it. Chaotic. It was, it was unhinged and, and it was all put together so well and I think it was different. It was unique. This is my first show and I, I think I would definitely come back for another one. Sometimes when I go out to opera, I get easily distracted, and this allowed me to, for my distraction to be placed on stage. You're watching all of these different arias happening at the same time, and it's so current as to like scrolling through Instagram, and like you don't know what to pay attention to, and everyone's got their own story that they're telling, and it's anxiety-inducing, and it's exciting, and it's thrilling. And I noticed people um, started to let go after about 20 or 30 minutes or so, where like they finally relinquished that, that feeling that they needed to know what was going on, and everybody just kind of relaxed and, and just kind of sat in it, you know? It was more of a music that's a place than it's a narrative or a, or a timeline. It's nice because now it's open, and I feel more welcomed, and I love how his approach gives me a better understanding. So it's cool, I enjoy myself. Uh, come see this thing, it's great.